In this quick Photoshop video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and realistically whiten someone's teeth. I'm Dave Cross, and as I said in this video, we're going to take a look at a common problem with portraits, and that is whitening someone's teeth. An interesting thing about photography is even when in person someone's teeth look quite nice and white, with the camera, once the photo is taken, it can also their teeth can look a lot more yellow than they do in person. So that's usually the issue that we have to deal with is removing the yellow from the photograph. So that's really what we're doing when we say whitening teeth is lessening the problem. So here's the photo I'm going to use. I'm going to zoom in just a little closer. And what I normally do is start off with the quick selection tool because it usually does a very good job of being accurate, at least to get me started. Now the net result of this exercise will include an adjustment layer with a layer mask, which means I will be able to tweak it if necessary. So I wouldn't spend too much time trying to be incredibly accurate here because you will be able to tweak it pretty easily. I always have auto enhance turned on because I like the fact that it's going to give me a better result and then we just go in and make our selection. And for now, that's pretty good. I'm going to actually, just to prove a point, make a not great selection where it's actually missing a couple of areas just to show you how it works. Then I go to my adjustment layers and I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer. The key to this working is that we have to look at what the problem is and the problem is there's too much yellow. So here in the properties panel where I look at my adjustment layer, I'm going to go and say I, what I really want to affect is only the yellow. So when you look under this menu that in effect is saying only adjust these areas. So now I, there's too much yellow so the way to remove the yellow is to lower the saturation. And you can see as I do look over at her teeth there's a lot less yellow. Then I go back to the master menu and I want to lighten them just a little bit. This is the part where you have to be careful because if you push that lightness slider too far it looks like a really bad toothpaste commercial where people's teeth are just ridiculously white. If I turn this on and off you can see compared to before it looks pretty good but we can also see, see where there's a bit of an issue there. Well I have this layer mask which is what's making this work. So all I have to do is take my paintbrush, I'm going to make sure I have a slightly soft edged brush, probably a good size there, and then all I have to do is paint with white. Now right now black is my foreground color so I just press the letter X and that swaps it and then I can paint in the area that I missed, same with down here. Now if I had happened to make a selection that was too big and suddenly her lips were affected I would just in that case paint with black and that's the advantage of course of using an adjustment layer that has that mask that you can automatically adjust. Now by the way just in case you're wondering normally you can see the mask very easily this is actually a much larger photo of a whole bunch of people so I'm zoomed in pretty far that's why you can't see the white on the mask but it is actually there which is not displaying. So if I zoom out you can see there are other people and if I wanted to adjust for example her teeth a little bit I could just take my paintbrush and paint with white on her teeth and I'll remove the yellow from her teeth as well. Now of course that only worked because this particular image was made up of a whole series of photos all on one image which is why I could apply the same adjustment layer but even if that didn't work you could always drag the adjustment layer into a different photograph and then paint accordingly on that photo to adjust that person's teeth. So there you go a very simple way to realistically affect and brighten someone's teeth by removing the yellow. As always make sure to check out every week on Tuesday when I do these quick Photoshop tutorials. I'm Dave Cross, see you next time.